On as even in the game between Villarreal and Atletico Madrid at La Ceramica, the final game of match day one. Lots of new faces on show. Julian Alvarez started on the bench for Atletico Madrid. Chorot starting on the pitch against his former club. At the start of the game, players who won Olympic gold or won the Euros during the summer were honoured by Villarreal. It was a nice touch that uh, Robin Lenormand and Pablo Barrios uh, were included in that celebration, despite being uh, from the uh, opposing side. There was a minute silence as well for the uh, Villarreal fans who'd lost their lives the previous season and through the summer. The last time Sherlock played at the Ceramica, he was wearing yellow and he scored four goals against Real Madrid. How would his return go? Well, Villarreal started brightly. They had their own new players on show. They're up there. Uh, new old players, as it were, because Jan Dan Juma's back from uh, a couple of seasons out on loan. And he made quite an impact. Can't get on the end of this cross from Gerard Moreno. Gerard Moreno was not expected to start the game. He hadn't trained and played throughout the summer. He picked up a, an injury early in pre-season, but uh, he was picked to start by that man there, Marcelino, who you just saw not on the bench because he's serving a three-match ban for things that he said to a referee in the game against Real Madrid, the penultimate game of the previous season. Great chance here for Atletico to take the lead. It was Samulino. Excellently timed run and a good header, but tipped over the top by Diego Conde. One of Villarreal's new signings arrived in the summer from Leganes. He was, he was uh, the Zamora last season in the second division. The goalkeeper most difficult to beat, conceded the fewest goals. And uh, he's going to be number one this season for Villarreal. Dealt with that cross shot from Griezmann as well. Some good football by both sides in the first half. And uh, goals as well. Conversion at the back post there for Renildo, but he was in an offside position when he did so. Renildo Mandavas starting as a left wing back. Not a position we've seen we've seen him play too much in his Atletico career. He's mainly been used as a centre back. Here comes the opening goal of the game. It's a long ball from Diego Conde. Witzel looks to have the measure of Danjuma. Danjuma checks back, and you think maybe the danger's been dealt with, but no. What a finish that was. Danjuma picking up where he left off, really, because he was uh, sensational at Villarreal the first time around. He then moved to the Premier League. Didn't really work out for him there. And he's back in business at the Ceramica. And neither Witzel nor Oblak um, will be particularly happy with the way that they dealt with that. So first blood drawn by Villarreal. And an assist as well for Diego Conde, the uh, Villarreal goalkeeper on his debut. How would Atletico Madrid respond? Well, the answer to that question is quickly, because it just took them two minutes. There was a slow build-up. But so uh, once they got into the Villarreal par, uh, half, the passes started fizzing between the red and white shirts. And when Llorenzi crossed, it was unbeatable. Into the roof of the net. It wasn't a cross, was it? It was a shot. He'd crossed the ball on several occasions before this. And uh, that was pretty much what everyone, including maybe Diego Conde, was expecting. But the shot into the roof of the net, ignoring the uh, option of Shortlock and uh, Lino in the middle. And that was 1-1. One, one. But no sooner they got back on terms and that Atletico Madrid would uh, concede again. Before that, this is a lovely move. Coque with the cross, Lino off the post. And Griezmann very nearly following in. Albiol had to clear. Baina does clear. There's a missed header in midfield from Lenormand. Then it becomes three against two. Lenormand desperately trying to get back in time. Pino squares to Dan Juma, and it's Witzel that makes the block. Dan Juma appealing for hands, but... Uh, 
No way was a penalty going to be given. Fitzer with his arm very close to his body. The cross from Jeremy Pino. Pino back playing again after tearing his cruciate last November against Atletico Madrid. Baena with the corner. It comes back out to him. And when he puts it back into the area, Oblak and Witzel seem to leave it for each other. It hits Koke and goes in, 2-1. And I'm not sure if Baena gets an assist for that. He was king of the assists last season. No one provided more assists uh, in La Liga, and he ought to get an assist for this as well. He whips in the cross. It's a dangerous one. And who knows whether Witzel got the shout from Oblak to leave it. He certainly did leave it. Oblak didn't claim it, and there's nothing Koke can do about that. It hits him and goes in. That's his first own goal for Atletico Madrid. And it's been a long, long career, over 600 games. First time he's put the ball over his own line. Once again, Villarreal were unable to stay in front. Griezmann with this effort, first of all. And uh, who would get the goal? Well, of course, it had to be Chordlock. Before that, Villarreal coming forward with Pino. Playing this one into the path of Gerard Moreno. And his shot dealt with by Oblak. Okay, into Barrios. He had the ball taken away from him by Alex Baina. He played in Gerard Moreno. Panjuma with a chance to score his second goal of the game. Sliced it this time. Five minutes into added time at the end of the first half. Which is where you can hear the whistles from the home fans. Barrios with the cross, Shawlock with the header, and they've seen that in this stadium so many times. He doesn't really celebrate out of respect to his former club. But uh, headed down, textbook centre-forwards header, down into the ground, difficult for the goalkeeper. Barrios with the cross, Chorlock with his first goal for Atletico Madrid. is now from the second half. Charlotte did not reappear after the restart. And neither did Witzel. Witzel was replaced by Jimenez. Charlotte replaced by Correa. Difficult choice to make here for the referee. He wants to give offside. The flag has been raised. Villarreal make the point that Bainer was fouled before Anjuma touches the ball. So it should be a free kick. In the end, the referee agrees and gives the free kick. Chance for Baina up against Jan Oblak. And, uh, well, some Villarreal fans inside the stadium thought that had gone in. They saw the net ripple. It was the wrong side of the net, unfortunately, for them. But not too far away at all. There is Shorlock next to Witzel, the two taken off at half-time. Corner for Villarreal, headed down by Comissania. Uh, by uh, Cardano, I should say, one of the new signings uh, brought in from Las Palmas in the summer, the left-back. It's him and Gerald Moreno that get their heads to that one. Here's Correa linking up with Griezmann. Griezmann trying to find the space for the shot, in the end, his pass sends Barrios slightly wide, he gives it to Lino. Into Correa. Correa back to Lino. A few players better at playing in confined spaces than Correa. He somehow got that to Samu Lino. Lino unable to finish. Gerard Moreno made way for Nicolas Pepe, Pepe Gay came on. Triple change in the end, Baena going off.
and uh, Jeremy Pina also making way. Jeremy Pina coming back from injury. Jeremy Pina coming back from injury in Bayern, who's had a busy summer. Elias was on. He also has a, had a busy summer. He won bronze at the Olympics with Morocco. Dan Juma also made way. On came Ayosi Perez. And there was a chance for Pepe to make an instant impact, and he so nearly did. Curling free kick that comes off the crossbar. Some bend on that. Set piece from Nicolas Pepe. O'Black will argue that he had it covered, it was close. It's a strange second half, not really the same tempo as the first half, which is understandable due to the fact that we are in the first week of the season. It did mean that there were mistakes and that could have led to a fifth goal, but it didn't. That one ball ran out to Pepe and he felt that he should have had a corner here. But we certainly didn't have the flurry of chances, clear-cut chances and goals that we had in the first half. De Paul was on. Pulls the ball back here for Barrios. Barrios goes for goal. Another change with Terrats coming on for Parejo. Managers using their full complement of substitutes. And that's the way it finished in La Ceramica, Villarreal 2, Atletico Madrid 2.